I solve for r. What was the other thing I need to solve for? Alpha. Alpha. Okay, so I still have enough space over here. I'm going to go here. How can I do this? Well, when you've got, I just rubbed it off. When you've got simultaneous equations, you get, you solve for something. We solve for y, right? Because we cancel x's. What do you do with y? You, you put it back into your equations, right? Now, usually with simultaneous equations with algebra, you only need to put it into one, right? But there's a bit of a problem we try that. Sub r into, let's just try equation one and see what happens. Uh, let's see here. Root 3 cos alpha equals root 3 on 2. Yeah? So if I divide both sides, it gives me that. Which is fine, it's true, it's just not enough for me, right? Because we've solved the equations like this till we were blue in the face. We know there's not just one solution to that, there's loads of solutions to that, right? In fact, there's an infinite number of solutions. So I need to restrict this in some other way. You have to do more than just sub r into your first equation. You actually have to sub it into both of them. Right? So I'm going to do that as well. OK. Are you content with that? See what I've done? So if I were just to look at this equation up here, cos alpha equals a half, right? You could come up with two solutions in a normal domain for that. What would be your first solution? 60. But you know cosine keeps going. You're going to get another solution in the fourth quadrant, right? And that solution would be 300 degrees, 60 or 300. But now that you know this other piece of information, you can rule one of them out. Here's a nice visual way to do it. We talked about quadrants before, right? Yes? When you wrote down cos alpha equals a half, you instantly knew two of the quadrants were okay and two were does. These two are okay, and the other two cos is negative over there, so you can't use those, right? But then when you write down sine alpha equals this, now you know actually these are the only two quadrants you can be in, right? And you have to simultaneously satisfy both of them, right? So that's why you've got to be in here. That 300 degrees that you found satisfies this but not this one. So therefore, with both equations, I can say alpha equals 60 degrees. Okay? Now, this is the point at which I'm going to explain why, even though it was actually very, very, very common sense and um, insightful, it's actually not a very good idea to go from here and cancel out r first. Watch what happens. If I say 1, whoop, other way around, 2 divided by 1. Okay? We've just established the r's go away. I'm going to get what on the left-hand side? <coughs> And then on the right hand side, this divided by this. The twos will cancel, right? You divide it in two by two. And then you get it three divided by root three, which by definition is root three, right? Okay. Now here's the thing. You remember over here, we got multiple solutions for like say this, but we were like, it's cool. I've got enough information to get rid of the multiple solutions and work out which is the real one and which one's the imposter, okay? But when you're over here, you're kind of stuffed, right? This guy can't tell. This guy's like, uh, this? Or maybe this? There's not enough information if you just divide through, right? Dividing through disappears some of the data we actually needed to successfully work out what the angle was. So that's why, uh, don't, don't do it. Uh, you can see, conveniently, it might be this, but in other situations I'll show you about later, it, it could just as well be that. And you have to know based on this situation. Okay, exhale. You found R, that's the amplitude. You found alpha, that's the auxiliary angle. So now I can say, this thing up here is not just equal to the sum of two functions. It's also equal to, let's put it all together, root three, Sine of x plus the answer I found over there. Done. So often the question will simply be state this in terms of, and then they'll provide for you another form, like r sine x plus alpha. And they'll say, off you go. 